So the while loop is, is the other major looping construct in R. Uh, and the basic idea is that the while uh, takes a logical expression um, and will execute the loop based on the value of that logical expression. So for example, I've got a very simple loop here. It initializes a count variable equal to zero. And then while that count is less than 10, uh, it prints out the count and then increments the count by one. So as soon as the, the value of count gets to 10, the loop stops. Um, and then it will go on to the next body of um, code. So, um, so the so the while loop it makes while loop is useful because it makes things easy to read. Sometimes it's very obvious here that this loop is supposed to stop working or stop executing when the value of the count variable is uh, ten or more. So it makes it a little bit more readable. After, however, you have to be a little careful with with while loops uh, because technically speaking, they are infinite loops uh, while the con uh, and and there's no and you have to make sure that the that the condition that stops the loop will actually occur. Otherwise, your program will never finish. Um, and so in this case, it's fairly obvious that the, that the loop will eventually stop executing. But in much more complex pieces of code, um, it can be hard sometimes to figure out whether the while loop will finish. And so often, it's safer to, um, to use something like a for loop that has a hard limit on the number of times it can execute. So it's not necessarily saying that you should never use a while loop, uh, but you just have to be careful when you do use them. So you can t you can test multiple conditions in a while loop or in any type of construct like an if statement, for example, um, uh, by using the uh, logical operators. So here I've got a variable z, um, which is equal, which I initialized to the value five, uh, and the condition for the while loop is basically while z is greater than or equal to three and it's less than or equal to ten. So while it's between the values of three and ten, um, then what I'm going to do is going to print the value of z. I'm going to flip a coin, a fair coin. Um, and if the coin is a 1, I'm going to add 1 to the, my value. And then if it's less than 1, sorry, excuse me, if, it's, if, it, if the coin is equal to 0, or any other value for that matter, I'm going to subtract 1 from z. So this is, I'm sharing a little random walk here, and the value of z is going to go up or down depending on my little coin flip here. Um, so when so here you can see it's a little bit harder to tell when the while loop will finish um, because the, the, the body of the while loop uh, involves ra random... A random number generation. So here the z value is going to zigzag up and down until it eventually hits 10 or eventually it hits 3 uh, or something less than 3. Um, and so this this may be kind of nice but you have to be careful that it doesn't go off for too long. Um, so one thing to note uh, uh, on a more technical level is that the conditions in a in any t when R tests the condition in a multi in a kind of a multi-expression condition here I've got z equal, greater than or equal to three and z less than or equal to ten uh, the conditions are always evaluated from left to right so it checks to see if the less mo if the less most condition is true and then it goes to the next condition so first it'll check to see if z is greater than or equal to three if that's true uh, then if that happens to be true it'll go to the next expression it'll say it'll check to see if z is less than or equal to ten. So if then there, if those are both true, it goes on to the next, uh, into the body of the loop.